Oh, what a beautiful day it is to learn some math. Are you ready to have some fun with numbers? I hope you are, because today we're going to dive into the wonderful world of addition. Let's start with something super simple. Imagine you have two shiny red apples. Can you see them in your mind? Great! Now, if I give you one more shiny red apple, how many apples do you have now? Um, let me think. So, I had two apples, and then you gave me one more apple. That means, I have three apples. Exactly! You're such a quick thinker, so we can write that down like this. Two plus one equals three. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's fun. Can we do another one? Of course. Let's say you have three colorful balloons. Picture them floating in the sky. Now, if I give you two more balloons, how many balloons do you have now? Hmm, three balloons plus two more balloons. That's five balloons. Yes, you've got it. So we can write that as three plus two two equals five. Balloons are so much fun, aren't they? They are. I love balloons. Okay, let's move on to our next topic. How about we talk about subtraction? Subtraction is like taking away. It's kind of like when you have a big cookie and you decide to share it with your friends. Oh, I love cookies. All right. So let's say you have five yummy cookies. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five. Five cookies. Perfect. Now. If you decide to give two of those cookies to your friends, how many cookies do you have left? Hmm. If I had five cookies and I gave away two, I have three cookies left. You're so good at this. So we can write that down like this: five, two, each three. Yay! I love subtraction too. I'm glad you do. Now let's try another addition problem. Imagine you have four colorful crayons. Can you see them? Yes, I see my four crayons. Awesome. Now, if I give you three more crayons, how many crayons do you have now? Hmm. Four crayons plus three crayons. That's seven crayons. That's right. So we write it like this: four plus three equals seven. You're becoming a math superstar. I feel like a superstar. Let's keep the excitement going. Now here's another subtraction problem. Pretend you have six shiny marbles. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six marbles. Great. Now if you lose two marbles while playing, how many marbles do you have left? Oh no, losing marbles is sad. But, ah, the. If I had six marbles and lost two, I would have four marbles left. Exactly. So we can write that down: six, two, equals four. You're really getting the hang of this. I love it. Can we do one more? Absolutely. Let's do one more addition problem. Imagine you have one fluffy puppy. Isn't that adorable? Oh yes, I love puppies. Now, if I give you two more fluffy puppies, how many puppies do you have now? One puppy plus two puppies. That's three puppies. You're right again. So we can write it as one plus two equals three. Puppies make everything better, don't they? They really do. All right. Let's wrap it up with one last subtraction problem. Picture this: you have eight delicious strawberries. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight strawberries. Perfect. Now, if you eat three strawberries because they look so yummy, how many strawberries do you have left? Hmm. Eating strawberries is the best. If I had eight strawberries and ate three, I would have five strawberries left. Absolutely correct. So we write it like this: eight, three, equals five. You're doing amazing. This is so much fun. I love learning math. I'm so happy to hear that. Remember, addition is all about bringing things together, and subtraction is about taking things away. You've learned so much today. I can't wait to tell my friends about all the fun we had with numbers. That's the spirit. Math can be so much fun, especially when we turn it into a game. Keep practicing, and you'll be a math whiz in no time. 
Thank you for teaching me. Can we do this again? Absolutely. Anytime you want to learn more, just ask. Math is everywhere, and it's always waiting for you to explore. Now, let's go out and find some real-life examples of addition and subtraction. Yay, let's go!